Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Asiliki and in this video I'm going to show you how to do this brown and orange eye look. I wanted to do something wearable for fall and I was inspired by the colors of the trees and the leaves. For today's video I have used the Extra Spice palette by Makeup Revolution and Soft Dust Nails. This one I think has the perfect shades for fall makeup looks. You can see also this palette in my drugstore palette collection video and some of you wanted to see more eye looks with this one i'm going to be honest i didn't want for september to come because i love summer so much but now i'm ready for fall makeup looks so let me know in the comments if you want to see something specific this palette reminds me of autumn a lot it has a lot of fall shades and i'm going to start with a highlighter because this one here doesn't have a shade that I can use to highlight my brow bone. This one here is the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals and this is how the color looks. It is a very light champagne shade. With an eyeshadow brush by Essence I'm going to apply this on my brow bone. I'm using just a little bit on the edge here and after that I'm just blending the products toward the tail of my brow and also the inner part. After that I'm going to take the shade Running Late. This one has a matte finish and a burnt orange color. With an eye blender brush by Essence I'm buffing that in the crease area and I also blend it towards the brow bone highlighter. A little bit outwards as well to elongate the eyes. Make the color as dark as you want. I'm applying a second layer to make the color darker and a little bit more noticeable. Following that I'm going to take eyeshadow brownies. This one has a matte finish and it is a dark brown eyeshadow. At first I'm pressing the eyeshadow and after that I start diffusing the color. After that I'm also blending a little bit with Brush to Do 5 by Zoeva. In the outer crease I have also used eyeshadow cookie dough. This one is a light beige brown matte eyeshadow. And with this one I have diffused the edges of the previous dark brown eyeshadow. I'm taking again eyeshadow running late and I'm just blending the edges a little bit to give the orange color back to my eyes. In the waterline I'm going to use the Master Kajal Call Liner by Maybelline and this one is in the shade Desert Brown. Try to take it a little bit in the roots of the lashes and with a small smudging brush by Urban Decay I'm going to smudge this in the lower lash line After that I'm wiping the bristles a little bit and I'm going to take this eyeshadow here again and I'm going to set the brown pencil. This way we're going to prevent any creasing of the product. Now I'm picking up eyeshadow Sweet and Sour. This is a more intense orange matte eyeshadow and with this one I'm going over the edges of the lower lash line. I'm not adding any additional product on my brush and I continue diffusing the edges. I'm taking again this one here, this time with an eyeshadow brush and I'm pressing that on the outer part of my eyelid. With no additional product I'm blending the edges and I'm using a second layer. 
I want to intensify a little bit more this part here of my eyelid and I'm going to take again this dark brown eyeshadow with brush 2 to 5 by Zoeva and I'm going to use just a little bit of this eyeshadow I'm changing the brush and now I'm using a smudging brush by Urban Decay Afterwards I want to highlight the inner part of my eyelid and I'm going to use the highlighter again with a clean eyeshadow brush by Essence I'm changing the brush, this one is by Morphe and I take again the same highlighter and with this one I'm going to highlight the tear duct I'm going to clean the edges a little bit here because I have blended it very outwards and I'm going to take the lightest shade of the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette this is in the shade Dulce de Leche With Brush to do one by Zoeva I'm taking again the same shade I have applied off camera eyeliner and my false lashes also a little bit of mascara and I had some issues by accident I applied mascara on my nose and also eyeliner in the crease it took me a while to finish the eyes let me know if you want to see a video how to correct makeup mistakes I make them all the time I can show you a very easy way to remove the mistake and patch things up so you don't have to remove everything and do your makeup again to contour my face I'm going to use this product by Essence this is the Sun Sand and Golden Rainbows Matte Bronzing Powder and this is in the shade Summer Lovin I'm using the brush 109 by MAC to give definition to my cheekbones For my nose I'm going to use the Beach Cosmetics brush number 7 To give a little bit of color to my cheeks, I'm going to use the NYX High Definition Blush in the shade Hamptons and I'm going to apply it with the brush too by Beach Cosmetics With brush E40 by Sigma, I'm going to take the same highlighter that I have used also on my eyes and I'm going to highlight the cheekbones and a little bit my nose after that I'm taking this big fluffy brush by Morphe and with big circular motions I'm going to blend everything together this is going to give a flawless finish to the face products so I'm removing what I have now on my lips I had this one here by Catrice this is the Dewyful Lips Conditioning Lip Butter and I have the shade Let's Do This okay I covered a little bit my lips but I don't want so much foundation now I'm going to highlight the cupid's bow I want to outline my lips I'm going to use the soft contouring lip liner by Essence in the shade Lost in Love on top of that I'm going to use the perfect shiny lipstick by Essence this is in the shade perfect plan and I have been loving this shade so much lately I want to use it all the time it is the perfect nude natural camel brown light beige shade it gives just the right amount of sheen to make the lips look fuller and also healthier and shinier you can find here a brown yellow eye look perfect for fall and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and also click on the notification bell and i will see you in my next video bye